Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Masters 25, the sealed booster boxes. Is it a good time to buy? What price should you buy it at? And have an overall discussion on what may be in it. Now, of course, we know JC Mind Sculptor. That's probably one of the big chase cards. And Azula Lost But Not Seeking with new artwork. Uh, that artwork, I think it's actually the better of the two. So you see here that this was a screenshot taken a while ago. It's $159.99 with free shipping in, from the US from a seller with 68000 It's our good friend Sports and More. So the legend about Sports and More is somehow they broke the market. They went way below while other people were trying to hype up the market for the iconic masters, Sports and More just sliced the market in half by saying, okay, no, we want to go down to $135, a booster box. While other people were trying to sell it for $160, $180, they cut it down to $135. How does Sports and More have 1,000 plus boxes already sold? That is crazy. How do they... How do they have so many of these boxes? And how can they guarantee that all of these are going to be shipped? Who knows? They definitely have the best price out there. From whatever I've seen, they have been the leader in price. And they can't be making all that much. For the Iconic Masters, they were selling it under what they supposedly were able to buy at, which is $138. They were selling it for $135 with shipping, with eBay fees. Who knows how they did it with PayPal fees? Who knows how they did it? Not clear, but they are doing it again. They are going to be the market leaders. I don't think anyone can compete against them. And I would be shocked to, I would not be shocked to find out that this is just Wizards of the Coast themselves. That's what I believe. Uh, because they don't sell 1,000 of them, remember? What's going to happen is they sell 1,000 here, and then next time they're going to sell another 1,000 at a different price point, either up or down, depending on the market. They control the market, and then they're selling another 1,000. They have plenty left over. So sports and more is quite a mystery, because I don't see how or why they are doing this. They are the cheapest price, consistently the cheapest price I've ever seen online, including David Adams including the cheapest price on eBay, including anything you can find on TCG Player. And they have lots. It's not, And they don't limit your buying, which is interesting in the fact that if you really want to go ham and you believe this is the set to end all sets, you can buy from one buyer. And that has a lot of convenience. That has a ton of convenience. So anyway... I just wanted to tell you about sports and more because it, it's a mystery to me how they're doing this and why why they would do this when they could easily sell for, let's say, 165 170 Who knows? Now, the price. The price is set at 160 Yes, you can buy more expensive at other places, but why would you? This is a reliable person. This is a reliable company, and they have free shipping. 160 is the price. Is it a good price? I think it is. My belief is Jace is a better card than Mana Drain in terms of the potential to spike, given the fact that I truly believe Jace will be unbanned sometime in 2018 due to modern being modern. Uh, modern, the problem Wizards of the Coast has with modern is not that it's a not a, it's an exciting format. They know people like it, but it doesn't sell cards. Well, what if you can make modern sell cards? By unbanning Jace, you sell a ton of these cards. And these cards are at Walmart, Target, Kroger's, uh, Medji. I'm missing Barnes & Nobles. Just GameStop everywhere, right? You need to sell them. What better, what better promotional item than an unbanned Jace? get everyone excited, pump Jace prices up to $150 a piece. You're going to sell boxes like crazy. 
Iconic Masters was an absolute fail. It was a huge disappointment. No matter how many times your favorite people hype it up, it failed because it was a bad set. It didn't have value. No matter how awesome the set is to draft, no matter how amazing that you know the new artwork is, if the expected value of a pack is Mana Drain or Bust, and Mana Drain's the only mythic worth over $20, and the rares don't have fetch lands in them, you are looking at a product that will absolutely fail. I know some people are looking to buy cheap and hold icon modern mat ah we have so many masters iconic masters uh yuck uh eternal masters modern masters there's modern masters. iconic masters is the worst investment i cannot emphasize that enough its main chase card it, yes it has some good rares given but its main chase card is a card that isn't very good i uh, i mean it's a strong card but it isn't played. It doesn't make sense that that's the chase card. JST Mind Sculptor makes sense right now, but if it's unbanned, it makes all the sense. It fixes every problem Wizards of the Coast has in terms of poor sales. It fixes the bad aftertaste of people getting destroyed by Eternal Masters, the second printing. I don't know. So here, here's the story. I am financially broke at this moment, but come April, I will have more money because that's how business works. You buy out a company and then you're really poor for a while. And then once you're not poor anymore, you have more money because now you own 80% of a company that you used to own 29% of. I'm going to go very deep in one of these boxes. I haven't chosen which one, but I'm probably going to talk to sports and more. I'm interested in them because they're the big bad, you know, they're the big bad lion in the room. Somehow they've accumulated so many of these booster boxes. I, I don't get it. I don't know who, like, it's fascinating. But I am very intrigued by a certain box. Uh, a certain box I'm not going to reveal because right now I don't have the money to buy it and I expect its price. I would tell you it's not unstable. Unstable, you can go on Dave and Adams and get it for like 110, 120 with coupons. You can get that down to $100 easy with free shipping. I'm not super impressed by unstable. I know people say unglued is about 600. Unhinged is, I think unglued is about $1,000 a box. Unhinged is 600. Those days are long past. Like the amount of unstable printed compared to those two is just probably a multiplier of five or ten, uh, a minimal. I have my eyes on a different box, and it could be a bad investment, but we will have the store open at the time. I am planning to open the store for real uh, with a new employee, uh, which we don't have yet, and we. It would be foolish for me to hire an employee at this point in time when I myself am not being paid. But don't worry, all the employees, all the vendors are always paid on time. Uh, they have families to support. They have children. Uh, they have dogs and cats and who knows, all types of stuff. It is the boss's duty to take out money last. I truly, truly believe that's what defines a good boss is the boss makes their employees' lives as easy as possible. And they take the burden of everything. So this entire burden of this buyout is on me. I had to come up with the money. I had to come up with the personal money and the financing and the mortgage and all second mortgage and all that fun stuff. But I will have a substantial buy in. And I'm looking very carefully and I've done the data, I've run the numbers, and I know that there's a box out there that is extremely valuable that is very undervalued right now. I like it. I like it a ton. I mean, it's, I don't like boosted boxes. I don't like unstable. I really hate eternal and iconic and the masters, except for modern masters 2017, they're already out at a price point, which doesn't make sense. 
it's either already too high or I don't feel like it's going to go up in price anymore. But there is a box. It is rotated out. It's sitting on Dave and Adams right now at a very good price. I look at all the cards in it. I like the expected value. I like the eternal playables. I like the fact that it has chase cards that people are really excited about opening. And I like the fact that for the most part, I don't think they can reprint the value cards in this set. It's not a cheap box. And when I do buy it in hopefully March, hopefully March, February is going to be a tough month. I'm not taking salary in February either. But March, I should be back up. Um, and oh, I just ordered some stuff from Tokyo Taco Mode, which I'll share. Actually, I didn't order it. One of the employees did. And she ordered uh, Cebu Inus, which is the company logo for everybody. Uh, the stuffed plushies and a figure for herself, which is really, really good looking. So maybe I'll open that. I know we got off on a tangent, but hopefully you stop the you stop the video before now. Anyway, bye guys.